Pizza that looks like used toilet paper and inventing a takeout puke box. Gordon Ramsay tastes his fair share of bad food, but there are some that he straight up just can't eat. Pizza is one of the most popular foods in America, but favorite pizza toppings vary from person to person. And one of the most hotly debated pizza toppings is pineapple. This debate has raged on for years now, with people arguing whether the topping should actually go on pizza or not. Because he is highly opinionated, especially when it comes to food, Gordon Ramsay has shared his take on whether pineapple belongs on pizza multiple times. In 2017, while hosting his one-season talk show, The Nightly Show, the chef ordered pizza. He asked the audience for flavor suggestions while ordering pizza, and he was not pleased with one of the responses. How many pepperoni stuff? You don't put pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Ramsey must fancy himself a pizza aficionado because he has a chain of pizzerias called Street Pizza. The website describes the restaurants by saying, Street Pizza restaurants embody pizza without rules. Apparently, it does not follow Ramsey's rule about pineapple on pizza, because it sells a ham and pineapple option. So it seems that Ramsey won't eat a pineapple pizza, but he will make some money off of one. If you've taken a long enough flight, you've likely experienced the atrocity that is airplane food. Plain food is typically a reheated meal that has a rubbery texture, but since our options are pretty limited while we're flying through the air, most of us make do and suffer through it. However, Gordon Ramsay absolutely refuses to eat plain food. As Ramsay told Refinery29 in an interview, there's no f***ing way I eat on planes. I worked for airlines for 10 years, so I know where this food's been and where it goes, and how long it took before it got on board. Instead, Ramsay likes to eat prior to boarding and have something like Italian meats, red wine, fruits, and cheese. Ramsay isn't the only one who's against eating plain food. Reader's Digest noted that we should all avoid eating on planes if we can. Apparently, it can make jet lag even worse. If you want to avoid that, follow Ramsay to a nice Italian place prior to boarding. In addition to his refined taste, Gordon Ramsay is perhaps even more well-known for his intensity in the kitchen. Ramsay puts his temper on full display in Hell's Kitchen, where he regularly berates the chefs who present dishes to him. In one episode, he came across a food pairing he had never heard of and quite frankly had no time for. When one cook brought him a dish of chicken and blackberries, Ramsay promptly asked where the idea came from, to which the cook shared that it was a dish she prepared while working at her corporate dining job. That's definitely corporate. You serve, they eat. Yes, sir. Straight after, they vomit. Yes, sir. Ramsay isn't totally against either aspect of the dish, as he's got plenty of chicken recipes and serves his famous beef wellington with the blackberry sauce. Just don't combine the two when he's around. Gordon Ramsay's career has taken him all over the world, and in Gordon Ramsay Uncharted, his television series with National Geographic, the chef has traveled to remote places like the Sacred Valley of Peru and mountains in Morocco to learn what the people who inhabit those areas eat. In one episode, the people he visited cooked bugs for Ramsay. Before serving Ramsay some, one man told him, This has a lot of protein. If you eat it, you won't be hungry all day. Ramsay must not have cared about the amount of protein in the bugs because he couldn't handle eating the food and spat it out, saying it's like a crispy cockroach. The people were right about one thing, though. Bugs are a great source of protein. Per the food science of animal resources, the average protein content of an edible insect is higher than the protein content of plant-based sources like cereal, soybeans, and lentils. And some insects are even higher in protein than meat and chicken eggs. Though eating bugs is not a common practice in the United States, many people in other parts of the world, like Asia and Africa, eat bugs on a regular basis. Gordon Ramsay has long been passionately against plant-based food. In 2007, he famously told The Mirror, My biggest nightmare would be if the kids ever came up to me and said, Dad, I'm a vegetarian. Then I would sit them on the fence and electrocute them. But over time, Ramsay's attitude towards vegetarianism and even veganism has changed. However, there was one vegetarian meal that he could not stomach, and that was a carrot gratin on an episode of Kitchen Nightmares. Even before his change in opinion, Ramsay wasn't fully against vegetarian dishes, if they were done properly. Unfortunately, the carrot gratin did not have what Ramsay was looking for, and he spat it out before swallowing it, saying of the dish, It's almost a, a bit of an insult to a vegetarian. Over a decade after proclaiming a vegetarian child was his worst nightmare, Ramsay is more than willing to eat plant-based foods. In fact, he's even said on an episode of MasterChef, After all these years, 
I can finally admit that I actually love vegan food. Wow. In another episode of Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon Ramsay was fed the restaurant's fisherman's platter, which consisted of scallops, flounder, and shrimp. And Ramsay was not a fan. The waiter stood watch, and when she saw him spit the food out, she returned to ask his opinion, and he didn't hold back. No good, chef. Soft, bland, rubbery. I didn't realize it could be this bad. Thank you. Okay. Other dishes he tried at the restaurant included French onion soup and shepherd's pie. And though Ramsay didn't like either dish, he did manage to swallow both. One of the owners took Ramsay's opinion particularly hard, saying, you know, You're here 16 years, so you think your food is decent? To hear otherwise, it's kind of shocking. If you'd like to try some fish that Ramsay does like, you can try one of his chain restaurants. Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. There are multiple locations across the United States, and the menu features cod, lobster, shrimp, and more prepared in fashions that we imagine Ramsay will not spit out. In addition to knowing good food, Gordon Ramsay has made himself an expert on all things luxury, and he aired his opinions on the television show Hotel Hell. The show was only broadcast for three seasons, but while it was on the air, Ramsay visited different hotels to advise changes meant to improve their operations. In one episode, Ramsay arrived at his room and almost immediately ordered room service to judge the quality of the food. When it arrived, Ramsay's first complaint was the packaging of the food, being confused as to why it came in a takeout box. Nevertheless, Ramsay continued eating. After pouring his soup out of a takeout box and into a porcelain cup, Ramsay tried the chicken parmesan slider and promptly spat it back out into the takeout box, saying, That's dreadful. Ah, f me. Now I know why they got the boxes. It's a takeaway puke box. This episode was filmed in 2012 at the Keating Hotel in San Diego, California, and per Yelp, the establishment is now closed. Gordon Ramsay is known for his television projects, but he'll use any medium he can to critique another cook's work. Ramsay has over 34 million followers on TikTok, and he uses his profile to duet videos and offer his unsolicited opinions on random users' food. Some of his harshest critiques have been on foods one might deem creative, like a Cheeto-covered steak. But his aversion to overly creative foods long predates the video-sharing app. On the same episode of Hotel Hell featuring Gordon's newly patented takeaway puke box, Ramsay ate at a restaurant called Merck, a short walk away from the hotel. For dessert, he was served bacon and chocolate pizza, which did not appetize him. It's like we've had a crisis with the toilet paper department. Someone's wiped their ass with my dough. After taking a bite, Ramsay let his actions speak for themselves by spitting it out to show his distaste for the culinary concoction. Gordon Ramsay is very specific about spices, and that includes salt. Salt is a kitchen staple, but it shouldn't be overused, especially around Ramsay, who is very sensitive to food that's too salty. In one episode of Hell's Kitchen, Ramsay proved just how much he hates food with too much salt. After trying a dish of macaroni and cheese, Ramsay spat out the noodles and called all of his kitchen staff to gather around. He had every cook taste the dish so they could see why he was disgusted. Most cooks agreed with Ramsay that the dish was far too salty, and the chef was determined to discover who had made the error. One cook, Michelle, admitted to adding some extra salt, and as a result, another chef had to prepare a new batch. Michelle apparently had a habit of oversalting her food. In another episode that same season, the cook put too much salt in a spinach dish. Although Ramsay didn't try the dish himself, another member of his kitchen had clearly taken cues from the chef and yelled at Michelle for her mistake. Hating things oversalted so much that someone else yells at the person responsible, that's a strong hatred. Although Gordon Ramsay spits out a lot of the food he tastes, we do have to give him credit for at least trying the dishes. Whether he is eating disgusting food on a late-night television show segment or putting food in his mouth that we wouldn't want to eat ourselves, the man is not afraid to try terrible things. He has, however, shared that there are some foods he just will not eat. For example, Ramsay said on Reddit that he drew the line at eating overcooked food, but apparently the line was redrawn when he told Bon Appetit that he wouldn't eat any kind of ready-made frozen food. Ramsay explained his decision by saying, It's so easy to prepare a quick meal using fresh produce, such as a simple stir-fry, but people still resort to ready meals that all taste exactly the same. Viewers saw Ramsay's disdain for frozen meals in an episode of Kitchen Nightmares. After rummaging through the restaurant's freezers and finding copious amounts of pre-made frozen food, Ramsay was incensed. It's just absolutely appalling. This is not a restaurant. You are mad. 
One of Gordon Ramsay's best traits is his honesty. He never holds back. On an episode of Kitchen Nightmares, Ramsay was fed a seafood crepe, and in his regular fashion, he shared his exact thoughts on the dish, saying, That, that is hideous. It's, it's, it's hot in parts, like in the middle, but on the side there, stone cold. The waiter returned to take the food away after seeing Ramsay wasn't pleased, and the famous chef took the opportunity to ask an important question. Is the oven not working? Unfortunately for the restaurant, the oven was working just fine. The head chef's dishes? Not so much. We're guessing that the next time Ramsay is going to eat a crepe, it'll be his own recipe.